Okay, first and foremost, I want to give all honours and praises and glory belongeth to my Lord and Saviour, whose name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Wahavaka Kodash, and double honours to the elder apostles of great millstone that teach his truth well and that continue to teach his truth well, and to the hopeful elect across the globe, and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters listening. And also learning across the globe. Okay. He that believeth on me, Yahweh Shai, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Okay. What's them rivers water? And that's John 7. Okay. And 38. What's them rivers of living water? This knowledge. You're going to have an abundance, an abundance of things to say. It never gets boring. You do a lesson. The lesson will always change. It will always be a different topic. That's the rivers of living water. The understanding, more understanding, more knowledge, more wisdom. Okay? More of experience. Okay? And what's that going to lead you to? Having an abundance. Okay? We are already rich. Okay? Verse 19. But this spake he of the spirit. And water is not stagnant. Stagnant water. What does it promote? It promotes death. It doesn't promote life. Okay. So this is referring to men that believe. The reason why men are able to do what? Video so consistently. Because they believe. This is not personal. And it doesn't mean a brother does not believe. Because he does less. It doesn't mean that. It just means his faith must. His faith is just a little bit less. That's all. But he that believes on Yahweh Shai out of his belly. Shall flow rivers of living water. Okay. So you may ask yourself. How is he able to still continue? It's through Yahweh Shai. It's a gift. But this spake of he, of the spirit, okay, which they that believe on him should receive. Okay, so the spirit is also what? Like unto water, constantly flowing. Okay, not stagnant, not one place. Constantly flowing. Okay, which they that believe on him should receive. For the Holy Spirit was not yet given. Why? Because Yahweh Shai was still with them. The Holy Spirit was given unto them when Yahweh Shai left. He went back to the Heavenly Father, which is known as the Comforter. Because that Yahweh Shai was not yet glorified. He didn't um, go through that death yet. Okay, so we're going to go into a few more scriptures. I don't want to make this too long. I just thought I'd switch it up. Rivers of living water. Okay, this never gets boring. You should always be learning something new. Okay. Never stagnant, constantly growing. Let's go to John... Bear me just a minute. Let's go to John. We're going to go to John 5. And I'm on the right one. Bear me just a minute. Quickly go to the Samaritan woman. When the Samaritan woman was asking you how a shy. So let's go to John 4. I'm not going to read all of it. And 10. Let's start at 9. This is... John 4 and 9. Then saith the woman of Samaria unto him, How is it thou that being a Jew, askest drink of me, which I am a woman of Samaria? Okay. So she was saying, Why are you asking me? Okay, for drink. I'm a woman of Samaria. And because they had no dealings. And this Samaritan, she was a Cushite that was put in that land during what the Assyrian captivity. Okay, when the northern tribes were taken out. It tells you that in 2 Kings 2, and I believe it's 17 or 7. Okay, so she was asking Yahweh Shai, which I am a woman of Samaria, for the Jews have no dealings with, with the Samaritans. Okay, verse 10, Yahweh Shai answered and said unto her, If thou knewest the gift of the Most High, who it is that saith to thee, give me to drink, thou wouldest have asked of him, and he would have, he would have given thee the living water. Okay, so Yahweh Shai was, he was saying, look, if you would have knew who was actually asking you for that drink out of the world, Really, for, foremost, you would have you asked me. You would actually be requesting of me. Okay? Of that water, that true living water. The woman saith unto him, 1 verse 11, Sir, thou hast nothing to draw with, and the woe is deep. From 